All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at the 8 to 1 multiplexer. Uh, we see that um, to, for 8 inputs, we'll need 3 uh, signal inputs, or 3 signal wires. So S0, S1, and S2, and we'll have D0 through D7 as our input. So for our truth table, we set up a regular bi binary count table and I've got the basic components laid out here with each of our inputs connected to a four input AND gate since we'll need the input plus three signals and all of those are joined through a product of sum to an OR gate going to our output. So we'll just start with um, for our D0 since its value is zero we need from the inverters for each of the inputs or the NOT gates uh, to connect to um, those outputs. So we can just bring our not gate wires up and connect them to each of the inputs. And it really up oh, really doesn't matter to which of the inputs of the AND gate we show these connections as long as you stay consistent. So you see I'm doing S0, S1, S2, and the input. All right, and that should allow us uh, with the value zero set here to drive the output from D0 or to transmit the D0 output on uh, input onto the output. All right, so we just go down the line for um, D1, we're going to have the binary value 1, so we know that the S0 would be the on line, so we have to bring up an on line, and we'll make that the S0, and then the S1 would connect to the S1 not, not line, and then the S2 to the S2 not line. And then if we set this to a 1, we should be able to drive that output. All right, so we just go down the line now. For um, D2, we need to make the binary value 2. So this would be a 0 or a not. This would be a 1, so we have to connect, oops, connect that to its 1 line. And then this would be a 0. Okay, for three, both of these would be ones. So the S0 is up to the one line, and the S2 is to the one line. I'm sorry, the S1, the S2 would be to the not line. And then for D4, we would have S0 to the not line and S1 to the not line, and then S2 would need to come down to the, oops, that's going to cause a problem, let me fix that. the input from the D4. For D5, it would be a 101. So you notice setting it up like this helps you um, with knowing which line to connect each wire to. So this is going to be a 0, and this is going to be a 1, or a 101. All right, so um, for six, it would be a one, one, zero. So our S zero to the not line, our S one to the one line, and our S two to the one line, or S two. And for our D seven, 
we would have all the lines on. So this would be to the S01 line. And this would be to the S11 line and to the S21 line. All right, and so now we've created an eight to one multiplexer. So for any input for a D3, we would just put a one and a one for binary three and we get that input on the output. All right, so this is an eight to one multiplexer. In our next video, we're gonna look at how to black box this and then use uh, multiple combinational components to build larger components.